stationintv.com. What up, y'all? We're the Jed and Harry Clark Band. I hope y'all came to hear some bluegrass music. He didn't say anything about the uh, bluegrass on there. Nobody gives a damn anyway. That's true, folks. And I would know that because I'm a teacher. Yeah. 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 You didn't have to. Golly. Could have. You could have left. It's cold on the shoulder. Quit laughing. Quit laughing. Someone's got to, folks. Quit laughing. Yeah, for the wind and rain. Younger, but I have lived harder, so it's, it's hard to tell what's really going on sometimes. Well, folks, it's come that time of the year again when it's time to go outside and wear short shorts and, uh, and you know, wear uh, cut off t shirts and tube tops. Yeah, tube tops. And Jet's, Jet's breaking out his tube tops pretty soon. So that's a cautionary tale about not messing with bears and hibernation. It's a very dangerous uh, idea, and uh, you shouldn't do it. And that song uh, really conveys that message well, and that's something we truly believe in, is don't, don't disturb hibernating bears, please. And a tote sack full of ginseng won't pay no traveling bills. folks and i would know that because i'm a teacher whoa no whoa whoa that seemed to escalate really really quickly jed i mean the life of a teacher y'all aside from all of that she also teaches biology to naked people they i have not seen that but so they can do whatever they want well they don't have to turn their cameras on guitar How about that guy right there he looks pretty cool doesn't he i can't dress myself golly <laughs>
getting on the fiddle, everyone. I just want to remind you guys, Christmas is only eight months away. And if you haven't purchased your white elephant gifts yet, Maddie has actually just released a single. That's right, and we have some fans in the audience who've already streamed it, and you need to, too. It's called I Hope You Hang Around. Look it up on any of your streaming services. That's pretty good for an impromptu plug. Golly. If any of you have heard of Tyler Childers and heard any of his music, you've likely heard this guy. This guy is a living legend of the upright bass, and I'm very proud to get to make music with him, and I've been proud to make his acquaintance since I moved to Nashville. Would y'all please make welcome Mr. Mike Bubb on the upright bass. Been knowing George for a long, long, long time now. Actually, in previous lives, we were uh, we were cousins and warriors, yeah, actually. But also cousins. It was a family of war. New York City. He's lived in Denver, Colorado. He's lived over parts of Virginia. He's originally from Connecticut. But most importantly, he lives in Nashville, Tennessee. It's Mr. George Guthrie the Third on the banjo right there. I've been so many places, I can't remember where I went. Lost my dears in that long tunnel of time. Been turned inside out, around and round and back and in. Got myself right back where I started again. Well, George, why don't you sing a song about crying? It puts two drops in my eyes. You read. young we would go to shows in Mountain View Arkansas nobody gives a damn anyway and Mike back when Mike was 13 and we were 10 and 9 <laughs> really trying to multitask like tell you a story and tune at the same time nobody gives a damn anyway well she came down the stairs coming back her long yellow hair and her cheeks were as red as a rose California transplants. Yeah, y'all have had an ample opportunity to leave. Vermont? Oh, California of the East. Very nice. Oh, man. I've been up to Burlington one time. Anyone here from Nashville at all? I'm serious. Folks. Folks. Now, folks. I'm serious. I'm not even being a smart ass. Y'all may both have to step out back. Uh oh. Spicy. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm serious. Golly. I'm just hoping in
foot on the shoulder And you know that we get a little older every day hearing that song and thinking it, it is nice to know that my brother does have a heart. No, there ain't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello? Wait till you get to know me, man. Don't do that. Someone's got to, folks. It gets better. <laughs> Jed, how's your, uh, how's your eyebrow doing? Well, Jed was in a terrible fishing accident uh, recently, folks. It's not good. Uh, he, he was on the boat and fishing with his buddy out there. And his buddy went to cast. You know, he had one of them treble hooks on, a, a crankbait. And he reared back to cast. Jed was behind him. He didn't see it. And that hook caught him right through the eyebrow. It ripped Jed's eyelid, like, completely out. Yeah, it was brutal. Brutal. But I, I kid you not, there was this dermatologist who was doing wonderful things in the world of medicine. And he was able able to reattach Jed's eyelid using a skin from a cadaver's foreskin, actually. I'm serious. It's... I'm serious, folks. Uh, Jed's... Jed had his eyelid replaced with a cadaver foreskin. And, folks, you can't even... You can't even tell that there's anything wrong with him. Except every now and again, he gets a little bit cockeyed, but that's just... That just comes with the territory. I had no idea how he was going to end that. Sorry, Mom. Anyway.
let's sing a song about being brokenhearted and getting drunk. And that's where I come in, folks. Starts there and it has that middle section and it cuts right off. It's it's got a nice ending. Most people say they their favorite part of this when it stops and there's no more of it. Yeah. 